Hey, once again, it's Mr. After Effects for another exciting tutorial in After Effects. So, today we're going to be making a fast run, and in my last video we did a head explosion, like you shoot yourself and the head blows up and whatever. Um, so anyway, thanks um, to Cool But 12 He's really, really cool. I mean, he's made some um, pretty nice stuff, you know, from my tutorials and all that. And you should check out his page. He subscribed to me, and um, just check it out. And we're friends and all that. We've been commenting each other's videos. So, anyway, here's what we're going to be making. Now. It's my sister, Peace, and then she runs. Okay, so. What we're going to do, you're going to drag your run footage of you running into a new composition. Delete. I'm going to delete this. And you're going to drag it right here. Like this. And you're going to set the frame right before you run, like onto the screen. You're going to go to Composition, Save Frame As, make sure it's a Photoshop layer. Then you're going to go to um, the part where you run, where you run really fast like this, which I want this to be my fast run part. And you're going to go to Composition, Save Frame As, Photoshop layer, you're going to save as Run. So you're going to drag your um, background underneath your footage or your background over your footage but you're gonna you're not gonna use the background until about right here actually if I were you I'd dra drag it underneath and then just cut off the footage like this and now you're gonna drag in the run right here and you're not gonna use the run until about right there now this one's really simple. All you have to do is, you know, um, Control and hit V. And if it comes up with the second one, delete the second one. Right click on this, make a new mask, go to the pen tool, and just cut out a nice little mask like over the whole body. Sorry about the quality again, guys. Um. The thing is, um, I have to convert all my videos now because um, After Effects CS3 doesn't take the format in my videos. And it sucks because I bought an HD camera. So I got CS4, but um, I'm going to reload Windows on here and then load CS4 back on there. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So just cut out a nice mask of the person. It's gonna have to be perfect because we're gonna blur it out. So right after you cut it out, you want to go to these corners and get rid of these corners. Then you're gonna take, you're gonna actually going to go to Effect with that selected, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur. Oops, you reselect Run. Now you want to take the blurriness up a bit, like this, make it more smooth, and then you're going to go down here and set a keyframe and transform for position. Move a few frames up, and then set the position all the way over here. Let's see if this works. See how fast it is. You can always make this right here a bit closer so that it looks like she's going faster. So let's hit play. See how it works. That will do. Now, what we can do to make this look even more cooler, we can go to the actual um, background right here. Hit um, right before she runs right here position just like in my flying video and then right here at the end of her run another position thing highlight them both go to the wiggler oops here's how you do it you can go to um, window um, the wiggler and you can select it um, jagged all independently 
frequency of 25 and a magnitude of 15 so you're gonna I'll just do 10 so you're gonna apply um, actually I think I will do a magnitude of 15 me um, delete edit do the wiggler and make sure your magnitude is 15 because it'll look really bad if it's not apply and see how it shakes but there's black around the edges to get rid of the black you gotta go to effect stylize motion tile and bring these up to 130 or 120 would even do so that way it duplicates it and it bounces and it mirrors the edges like this so anyway thanks for watching this tutorial and have a nice day